Hi everyone, John Blazy here, inventor of Dicrolam. Uh, more about that later. I'm going to show you how you can use a laser to cut a bevel, a polished bevel, in acrylic. Any acrylic. Cast acrylic is best. And um, it's best for small bevels like this piece of jewelry here in fairly thin acrylic. <clears throat> the thickest I've done is like quarter inch where you get a very wide 3 eighths, but you need a more powerful CO2 laser for that. Or you can make multiple passes. Anyway, I first invented this or figured this technique out many years ago and I over-engineered a beveling jig like this. And so what happens is you cut your pieces out in the laser. You mount this bevel jig, just set it in your laser bed. Then you set your piece to be beveled right into this edge with a little lip so that the piece doesn't slide off. And this one has hold downs and it's a little big. But the laser just comes across and cuts the bevel beautifully and it leaves a polished edge. So what I've done in the past is I'm trying to figure out inexpensive ways to make the beveling jig and really you can make it out of aluminum Z-bar like in the next slide. But today I wanted to make one that would be easy to get material for. This is simple steel angle. But I'm using the angle because I want to be able to hold the pieces on with a magnet. Now if you did one a little easier than we're going to do this out of just aluminum, you got to put a lip on it and you could like glue steel to it for magnets. But this is the method we're using and the beveling technique looks great on mirrored acrylic. Any color, even clear mirror for trophy bases, even on clear acrylic. Um, but the refraction of the bevel looks amazing on mirror. But today we're going to be using my favorite acrylic, which is the coolest acrylic in the world called Dichrolam. Again, I invented it 25 years ago. And uh, it's been used in high-end interiors, made the cover of Interior Design Magazine, uh, did a conference table for MTV, made the top 10 list in Material Connection Library, and uh, most innovative product at Neocon. And only recently I figured out how to laminate it in acrylic for laser cutting. And sometimes I do artwork like this. So anyway, here we go. <clears throat> 